Hi, I'm Jo from JH Leather, and in this video, we're talking all about stitching alls. So we will be focusing on the diamond stitching awl, as that is what I use here in the workshop. When it comes to choosing your stitching awl, there are two main things to consider, the handle and the blade. Starting with the handle, there are two main types, those with a metal ferrule and those without. The main benefits of the handle fitted with a ferrule is that you can easily change the blade when needed, so you can have one handle for multiple blades. Now if you do choose this option, I recommend using a leather washer to protect your leather from being marked by the metal ferrule when stitching. These handles are much heavier than those without the ferrule fitted, so that is something to take into consideration when choosing your handle, as well as how often you are likely to change the blade in it. The next thing to consider is the size and shape of your handle. As you can see from the array I have here, they come in many shapes and sizes. Now I am used to using a variety of handles, but through my one-to-one -one workshops, I have found that those with flat sides are easiest to get used to holding when starting out. However, this is going to be individual to you, so you may need to try a few first before finding the right handle for you. Once you have chosen your handle, you need to pick your blade. The main thing to consider here is the size of the blade versus what it is you are stitching. So as you can see, I have a range of different size awls, and it is likely that you're going to end up with a couple of different sizes. Depending on what I am stitching and the size of the stitch marker I have used will determine what awl I'm going to use to stitch. For example, this large awl here is great for stitching thick leather in large stitch sizes like a 7, however the blade is too big to use with a 10 stitches per inch iron. Over the years I have found that I use 8 stitches per inch for the majority of my work and this pairs great with an awl that is roughly 18 to 23 millimeters once fitted, although this can vary. And remember you can shape your awl blade down to make it fit for use with smaller stitch mark size. When it comes to fitting the blade, if you have a handle with a metal ferrule, this is nice and easy, as all you have to do is unscrew the fitting and place in your blade before tightening it back up. For handles with a manually fitted blade, the fitting method will vary on the handle. For example, this handle from Abbey England requires the blade to be hammered in and this one from Pro Atelier Plus is pre-drilled and requires you to use resin to fit your chosen blade. For both methods, you want to make sure that the blade is seated straight and the resin fit option is a lot easier for this. <laughs> With a handle where the blade is friction fitted, I use the coin method of application. The blade sits between two coins in a vise and you hammer the handle on until you have the length of blade you need. Now there is a limit for this and if you buy a super long blade but only want a short awl, then you're going to have to buy a more suitably sized blade. Now you can purchase awls with a pre-fitted blade and my current favourite are the ones sold by Pro Atelier Plus and they are available in three sizes. Once you have your blade fitted, you need to test how it works in your leather as it's likely it will need some polishing. Now from what I can see, Pro Atelier Plus do sell sharpened blades but I cannot confirm that. Depending on what your blade is like, you may only need to do a bit of stropping to get it ready to stitch, or you may need to do a bit more with some wet and dry paper. Both options require you to sharpen each of the four sides of the blade, as this is a diamond shape, and this is nice and easy to do. You want to use a flat surface and roll the blade onto the chosen face to sharpen, and move this forwards and backwards, and then repeat for all the sides. Thank you. 
Remember after each stage to test your blade to see how well it performs when stitching through your leather. I like to use bridle butt as my test leather as this is the thickest leather that I use. Now you can use this technique to make your all blade smaller for use when paired with a smaller stitching iron like 10 stitches per inch. You just need to repeat the steps until you're happy with the size of your blade. Now you do need to be careful not to take off too much as this can weaken the metal. Once you're happy, you can then get stitching. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will leave a link in the description to my favourite awls from Pro Atelier Plus. Now they are not sponsoring this video but they are my favourite awl to use. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video please click the thumbs up button and if you haven't already please subscribe for more videos and tutorials and I shall see you in the next video.